Okay, so very good afternoon. Can you all hear me, those who are online? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, this class will be the continuation of uh, yesterday's class. Yesterday, uh, we discussed about probability. Today, I'm going to do conditional probability. Conditional probability. Okay? I'm going to uh, explain here what is conditional probability. Okay? So, for any two events, for any two events, A and B, the probability of getting A, probability of getting A condition to B. So what is that? I am explaining with an example, then you will understand. So the pro uh, for any event A and B, the probability of getting A conditioned to B is given as is given as P of A condition to B. We write it like this, like division form. So P of A condition to B equal to P of A union B sorry, P of A intersection B divided by P of B. So what is that? I'm explaining with an example. Question, direct question comes uh, out of this topic. So let us uh, discuss what is a conditional probability in terms of a uh, few examples. Okay, done. So this is the, the basic definition of conditional probability. The for conditional probability of getting a certain, uh, you know, getting a certain uh, event A with the condition that B is already occurred or B is already occurring, then the probability of getting, you know, P A condition to B. So this is, we did it like that. Probability of getting A condition to B. So this B is the condition. Now what is the condition? How does it work? And this is probability of getting A. Probability of getting A with the condition of B. So how does it works? I give an example. I think it will be clear. Okay. So uh, let's start uh, what uh, one example. But before that, just wait for one or two minutes because they are joining this class. Come. You, you write this note. So this is called uh, conditional probability. Just you, do you, have a, you can clip, click a photo because I'm going to start the example. So probability of getting A with a condition that B is occurring. So it is called P A condition to B. Okay. If you have a mobile, you click photo on that. Okay. So it, we have actually have started this topic already. Done. Okay. So uh, let us uh, discuss an example on this. So question number one. So I just write the question. Ten cards. Please write the question. Similar to this question, only comes in exam. Ten cards, numbered one to ten. So ten cards, numbered one to ten. So they are numbered from one to ten. Ten card number from one to ten are placed in a box. Are placed in a box. These ten cards, they are they have numbers on it, so they are placed in a box, mixed thoroughly. They are mixed properly, so mixed thoroughly. Mix thoroughly and and after mixing that one card is drawn randomly and one card is remember one card yesterday we discussed for two and more than two also how to take you know combination and all the one card is drawn 
and one card is drawn randomly. Randomly means without looking into that, any one card is drawn randomly. Question is now, if it is known that, this is very important, if this type of question, if it is known that, if it is known that, if it is known that, the number on the drawn card is, the number on the drawn card is, if it is known that the number on the drawn card, means which card is being picked up, so more than three, more than three, question is, find the probability of, find the probability of, find the probability of getting an even number, getting an even number. Okay. I'll try to understand the question. Okay. The question says, uh, see what conditional, as I said, conditional probability. So condition, what is the condition and what is the probability we need to find out. So please try to understand. It's not very difficult. Type is different. So please focus on this. Okay. Now, there are 10 cards. The card from 1 to 10. So that means the total number of cards will be total cards. Total it is answer. So the cards are from 1 to 10. So total cards are how many total cards? 10 only. Because they are the cards are numbered from 1, 2, 3, 4 like this up to 10. So there are to total number of cards is 10. They are placed in a box, mixed thoroughly, and one card is drawn randomly. So please try to understand here, one card is drawn. So this is not a concept of combination because we are taking only one card. Right. Now, this from this time be little careful. If it is known that, if it is known that is the given part. Or you can say this is the condition. In terms of this question, uh, uh, conditional probability I am explaining. So what actually they means, I will explain it. If it is given that or if it is known that the number on the drawn card is more than 3. That means as you say, as you see here, one card is taken up and it is known that or it is the condition that that card which is drawn is more than 3. That means more than 3 means 1 to 10 cards are there. So more than 3 means 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that is the condition. So your drawn card should be more than 3. Question is, what is the probability of getting an even number? So the drawn card is more than 3. You are asked to find the probability of getting here an even number. Now, so this is your aim. Probability of getting whatever, that is your aim, which we take as A. And the condition, as you see, I, I showed a few minutes back, the condition we write as B. So here, condition to B. So the condition is B. Getting it? And whatever you are asked, that is A. So you are actually asked to, you are actually asked to find the probability of getting an even number. The condition here is, it must be a number more than 3. So condition is this. Question is getting an even number. And that number is how? with the condition that this number will be more than 3. So, what we will do, we will take this as B and A. Now, what is B? B is the condition. Now, how to find B? The B is the B is such that the number on the drawn card is more than 3. So, from 1 to 10, which numbers are more than 3? Of course, it is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So remember, this is the condition. This is the condition. Condition of or the event, event of the condition. Then the probability of getting even number. So I consider that event as A. So probability of getting an even number, I'm considering as the event A. So this is ab all about the even numbers. So which are the even numbers from 1 to 10? We just have to list down. So they are even number. So 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10, they are the even numbers. Now they are asking, please see this line, 
if it is known that or if it is given that or if this is the condition that the number on the drawn card is more than three i have considered that event as b so here if you observe here you observe the condition we write like that b and a we write this way probability of a condition to b so in this in terms of this question if i write it probability of a condition to b it will mean that probability of getting a what is a getting an even number what is b as i showed you b is the condition what condition the number should be more than and for this we have a ready made formula you can see here this is probability of a intersection b by probability of b so it is probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b now just have to put it now how to put let us find this probability of a intersection b and probability of b so this is b sorry just a minute so it was b probability of a condition to b divided by probability of b now to find probability of a condition to b it's not difficult first you find a intersection b how much intersection i believe you know the common elements this this sign refers to intersection which means the elements that are there in both a and b so it refers to intersection so this this sign is called intersection it says those elements which are there in both so if i show that four is there in both i should take that six is there is in both eight both ten both so common elements is that intersection so we have four we have six we have eight and ten so these are the common uh, elements now probability of a intersection b if i find out because i'm going to put it there now probability of a intersection b so in a intersection b how many elements are there this is 10 how many elements are there four out of total how many cards 10 so this is p of a intersection b so this is p of a intersection b now probability of b also we need to put it probability of b that means in b how many elements so one two three four five six seven seven out of total ten and now just you put these two numbers here this is the rough work getting it so actual answer is there so just you put these numbers over there so p of a intersection b i got just now four by ten then p of b is seven by ten so this ten ten get cancelled the answer is 4 out of 7 or 4 upon 7 4 by 7 so this is how a question on conditional probability works i repeat now before i go for the next question I, if whenever it is said it is known that it is given that it is the condition that so that one you will take as b conditional probability with this with reference to this condition you are asked to find probability of getting something that is your a and then you put accordingly is it okay so is it okay those are online yes sir okay i take an yes, another sir. example of conditional probability only so let's go to an another question <sighs> finding uh once again conditional probability so it is the number two okay so let's write an another question in a school in a school or maybe in a college so i'm writing a school there are 1000 students there are if you have understood this topic you can easily do this question there are 1000 students out of which some are girl okay out of which supposing 430 are girls 430 are girls so 430 girls are there okay that means the remaining are boys okay so in a school there are 1000 students out of which 430 are girls now it is known that please try to understand whenever it is written like it is known that it is given that that is your conditional probability so it is known that out of 430 it is known that out of 430 that means out of those 430 girls out of 430 comma 10 percent of girls 10 percent of girls 
study in class 12 suppose study in class 12 so they study in class 12 now the question is what is the probability that what is the probability that what is the probability that a student is what is the probability that a student is chosen randomly a student is chosen randomly randomly huh? a student is chosen randomly studied in class 12 studied in class 12 these statements are slightly confusing always so studying in class 12 given that the chosen student is a girl given that the chosen student is a girl okay given that the chosen student is a girl okay this is the question we are asked to find the probability okay so let's go ahead if you understand it, it's not very difficult so uh, look at this in a school there are total 1000 students out of which 430 are girls okay so 430 girls are there in the school now it is known that out of those 430 students 10 percent students uh, 10 percent of these girls studied in class 12 so you can find out how much this number is 10 percent of 430 so 43 okay so you can get the number of students studying in class uh, 12 right now the question starts here don't get confused this is known that means it is given here now actual question is here now you are asked to find the probability of getting of that particular student whoever is chosen C is a student of class 12 it is given that C is a girl that means they are in class 12 we can have boys also they are asking if a girl is selected randomly if a sorry if a student is selected randomly the question is that that student is a girl who is studying in class 12 because that girl student can be in other other classes also like 1 2 3 4 5 or 10 9 whatever but the question is any girl out of this 100 students are taken any one student is taken now they are asking if any one student is taken C is a girl student and also C is studying in class where 12 okay now as I told you the given that is the condition so this given that is the condition which you are supposed to take as B okay so given that is the condition that means B is the first one then whenever they ask what is the probability of whatever so and so on that is to be taken as that is to be taken as what a now the probability that the student is chosen randomly is a student of class 12 so this portion is a so a will be that portion and then we will find the probability of a with the condition b now why with the condition b because given that the chosen girl is a girl so the condition is the given that so this is we need to find out now if I try probability of okay if I now try B what is B a student chosen randomly studied in class where 12 and it is given that what uh, it, it's a girl so if I go for finding number of girls given that it's a girl maybe from any class so what, what is the number of girls 10 percent of 10 percent of 43 so 10 percent of 43 because no just a minute no it, the total number of girls are how many total number of girls are 430 it's not given class so 430 girls are there out of what total how many students 1000 students so this will be the probability of getting this is the probability of getting 
B, which as you know, I just show it once again, because this probably the B we put in the denominator, yes or no? So this is your uh, P of B. Now, A, what is A? A student is chosen randomly and studied in class, and studied in class 12. So now A, we cannot find directly, it is not there that how many students are studying in class 12. This is not there, but what is requirement? Our requirement is a intersection B okay so I, I we found it here because the question is like that now our actual requirement is a intersection B and P of B now individually we can't find here over this question we can't find how many are uh, uh, the students who are studying in class 12 but although we cannot find this although we cannot find this so we can at least find the common students now common means what intersection intersection of those students who are studying in class 12 and also is uh, you know girl, girl student right so what can we do here is look at the board we cannot directly find a but we can find p of a intersection b how much now what does it mean a intersection b it is the common thing now what is a student studying in class 12 what is b girl student now when i take a intersection b what does it mean common common so take t considering both a means a, a student of class 12 b means girl student now when i say a intersection b it will mean that common what common girl student in 12 so that they must satisfy both i repeat uh, a is student of class 12 where boys can also be there b is girls now when i take a intersection b this this is common thing for both now what it will mean common thing both means what girl student as well as student of class 12 getting it so a intersection b, a, a, b means girls a means student of class 12 so intersection will let us know the girl students who are studying in class 12 and that number already we have yes or no how many what is the number 10 percent of girls studied in class so 10 percent of 10 percent of 430 10 percent of 430 if i find as you know, it will be 10 out of 100 into 430. These zero zeros get cancelled. So 43 girls. Now, what is this 43 girls? The girls who are studying in class, and that is why it is the intersection. So 43 out of say out of total students. What are the total students? 1,000. Okay. So everything is now ready. Question is unlike the last question. Last time we could find all the numbers. But now this is the directly the intersection comes and hence P of A intersection B is sorry P of A condition to B. What is that? Probability of getting A. A means student of class 12. Condition to B. What the condition? That that student is a girl. Girl. Okay. So it will be P, P this is a direct formula. P of A intersection B divided by P of B. Just to put it A intersection B is 43 by 1000. Yes or no? And this is 430 by 1000. And once again, this 1000 get cancelled. Zero, uh, this 43 and 430, if you cancel, it will be 1 by 1 by 10, like this. Okay? So that see the difference. In the last question, we could find A, B separately. But this situation is such that we are directly getting the common things from A and B. Is it okay, all of you? Could you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. I just give a question which you'll try at home as homework. Okay, so please try this question at home. You'll let me know if you don't get. It I is thrown twice. Die is die is die dies in singular it is die. So a die is thrown twice. So that two times it is thrown. Okay? And the sum of the numbers 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 appearing is observed to be 6 appearing is observed 
to be 6. So the sum is coming 6. Now what is the conditional probability that? So direct question, conditional probability already mentioned. So what is the conditional probability that? So since it is directly mentioned, you must immediately understand that this formula to be used. What is the conditional probability that? That what is the conditional probability that the number four has appeared? The number four has appeared. The number four has appeared at least once, minimum one time it has come at least once. So, minimum one time this four has come. Getting it now. I just give some hint and you'll try. What is the probability that the number 4 has appeared at least once? Getting it? So, this will be the probability they are asking. This is the probability uh, they are asking. So, look at this. What is the probability that the number 4 has appeared at least once will be your A? Getting it? That the way I did just now. And the die is thrown twice and the sum is appearing is observed to be 6. So, every time the sum has come out, uh, out as 6. So, this is your B. Now, wha now, what is the mean? One example. This die is thrown. I believe all of you know die. So, this die is thrown. Okay. Die is thrown. Now, what the question is, you know, the first one. So, here suppose 2 has come and here then 4 has come. And this 2 plus 4, it is making how much? 6. That is the question. Okay. So, the sum of the numbers appearing or observed to be 6. This is the condition. And with, what, with that condition, you are asked to find the number 4 appearing at least once. So, 4 appearing at least one means like this. 4 here, here 2. Or here 1, here 4. So, like this. 4 is coming at least one out of those two. Even 4, 4 can also be taken. Why? Because at least minimum one time, we can have two times also. Getting it? So, you will try this. Now, I am going to start Bayer's theorem. Okay. Done. So, the Bayer's theorem is already given. So, you will try this question as homework. Is it okay, all of you? You will try it. Okay. So, questions on questions on Bayes theorem. So, the Bayes theorem is slightly more difficult, but concept is almost similar. And this theorem I gave in the last class, questions on Bayes theorem. Okay. So, two, two, three questions we will do, and that is the last topic of probability. Now, suppose question one on Bayes theorem. Okay. Bag one contains, there are two bags, suppose, bag bag 1 contains bag 1 contains 3 red and 4 black balls 3 red and 4 black balls important question huh all of you black balls comma one more bag is there suppose bag 2 Back to where, whereas, whereas one more back like back to, back to contains five red, back to contains five red and six black balls, five red and six black balls. Full stop. Now, one bo ball is drawn at random. One ball is drawn at random. One ball is drawn at random from any of the bags. Okay? And drawn from any bag or from one bag. We don't know which bag. From one bag. 
and it is found to be red and it is found to be red and this color is red question is find the probability that find the probability that find the probability that it was drawn from back to it was drawn from back to okay this is the question please write it i repeat the question bag 1 contains three red and four black balls whereas one another bag like bag 2 it contains five red and six black balls then now now one ball is drawn at random from one bag and it is found to be red so without looking into the bag one ball is taken out and it was seen that this color of the bag ball is red find the probability you are asked to find the probability of that ball that means the red ball which was drawn from bag 2 okay so uh, for questions like this okay it's totally a different one because uh, directly actually no condition is given yes or no the last type was a condition we, the condition of this then this you yes know but now the conditions are not given so you need to specify now what actually need to specify you know the balls whether it is a red or black balls they were where they were in the two bags bag one and bag two so we will assume event a and b also can be taken i am preferring e1 and e2 why e1 and e2 you know in your books also it is given e1 and e2 so you'll be comfortable now what is e1 e1 means what getting the ball from bag one i think you have understood this question so it, it was bag so okay so suppose this is this is bag one okay this is bag one suppose this is your bag two please try to understand bag two now in bag one in bag one there are three red three red and four black balls this is the question okay if i draw it i think you'll understand it a better way and in bag two five red here five red and six black balls okay now try to understand after that now a person has taken out a ball not looking at the bag just he has taken out like this getting it now after uh, without looking into the bags the where the ball is taken out like that and observe the ball has come out to be a red color bag oh, sorry red color ball red, the ball is of red color the question is now when the red color ball is found you have to find the probability that the ball which is taken out red it was from bag two i think question is okay done now is the question okay all of you now what we will take here is e1 and e2 now what is e1 you know e1 is the probability uh, event of getting the ball from bag one e2 from bag two so we write it like that you can make it of course short okay so event of i am writing because the steps because we are doing it for first time so event of getting ball from ball from which bag bag one so this is get from getting bag one done now and same line e2 is the event of getting ball from back two this is from back two now here one additional event also should be taken now what is that you know a okay so we take the event as a now what is a you can understand that ball is red colored ball so this event will be occurring with respect to you know with reference to these two events only because the uh, event a is this one the red so what is that the ball which is drawn is red or you can write directly a is the event of the ball the ball is which color red okay i think it's no doubt up to uh, up to this 
Now, to go ahead, to go ahead, here we need to find few terms, then we'll go to the formula, the Bayes theorem, which I gave it yesterday, but I did not explain, so I'm going to explain it now. Now, what you'll find out, we will find some conditional probability also, because Bayes theorem is based on conditional probability. Now, what is the, is it okay? Then now, now I will write something like this, probability of, therefore, probability of getting A con E1, and also probability of getting A E2. Now, what does it mean? It means that, remember, A is the red ball, E1 is the big one, A is the red ball, E2 is the, so it means that in words, probability of getting red ball, from which back? Back one. Probability of getting red ball from back two. Here, one thing you be very careful. Ball is the probability getting the red ball condition to back one. Ball red condition to back two. Now, if I you find it, what is A? A is the red ball. So, how many red balls are there in E1? How many red balls are there in E1? E1 means what? Back one. So in bag one, how many red balls? Three. So this is three, right? Three red balls. In bag one, how many balls are there? In bag one, these are. How many balls? Seven. So this is the probability of, see, we did not use formula here. We are uh, doing directly, so it is three out of, that means red balls, bag one, and three red balls. Now, red balls in bag two. So in bag two, if you observe, there are five, am I correct? Five red balls, five five red balls where? In 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 back two. So five red balls in back two. So it will be five out of eleven. Uh, sorry, how many? Eleven now? Five plus six. So it will be eleven. Getting it? Done. Therefore, now look at the Bayes theorem. Let me write the theorem first and then I will explain what is that. Therefore, probability of E two A. Totally terms are different. I'm explaining one by one what is that. Okay, so P of E1, uh, so it is E2, so we have to do E2 multiplied by P of AE2. Then here, P of E1. First, this is the Bayes theorem. Without this theorem, we can't do this question. Okay, and why this theorem, how it to be used? So I'm going to explain that. Now, P of E2. First, you write it. Okay. P of A E2. Now, can I start? Now, one thing you see, what does it mean? I'll let you know. But we need P of E1 and P of E2. Now, P of E1, I can do in the previous slide only. P of E1, probability of bag 1. P of E1 means what? Bag 1. Okay, no space. I'm doing there. Okay, you can do here. P of E1. Can you tell me P of E1 means what? Probability of bag 1. How many bags are there? There are two bags. So E1 means bag which one? So it will be which one number? 1 by? See, this is totally independent of colors. It is all about bag only. Because this E1 means bag. E2 is also bag 2. So uh, probability of E1 means probability of getting bag 1. So how many bags are there? 2. Denominator 2. E1 means bag 1. How many? one similarly p of e2 also p of e2 also how many uh, e2 means what back two so there is only one back two and total total how many bags so they both will be one by two hope it is okay now these two values are ready so i believe every value is actually ready but you try to understand the concept is it okay all right now what this formula means? This is the best term as you have heard, heard of just now, or if you know already, that's well and good. Now, the, see, what is the difference between these two? It, they look almost similar. If I say in word, red ball, back to, back to, red ball. Actually, in, you know, ordinary language, they look the same thing. Red ball in back to, back to, red ball, but actually not. Why? Here, the red ball is taken and back two is the condition. That means from back two we can get some other color also. So condition to back two. But now the question, if you see the question, what is the question? 
uh, find the probability that it was from back to so it is from back to with the condition that with the condition that the ball is red so the red means which, which event red means a so when you take this when you take this you see e to a that means it was it is from back to with the condition that it is a red color ball okay so what what is what this means red ball with the condition that it is from back so it is differing the condition now when i write here e to a and i'll give you one small trick also after this after completing the explanation how can you easily understand and how can you easily apply this bayes theorem now just a minute so then no so the difference should be clear and if even not clear uh, you should focus on that actually what is the question is demanding right so now this is your e to a that means from back to what ball red color ball and that is your that was your question you see that was your question probability that it was a it was from back to what it means what the ball which ball the red colored ball and hence back to to be taken as e2 back to to be taken as e2 and then a so back to red ball okay so that is why this e2 is the uh, what is that a is the condition right now red ball to be obtained from back to and just you put it here and all the values you have already p of e2 is 1 by 2 okay now how do you remember the formula easily whatever comes here there whatever all outcomes all events are there here that means e2 a no p of e2 p of a e2 now p of e2 p of a e2 this one but one more event was there e1 so e1 a e1 that is the formula i repeat e2 a just you write here a e2 and then p of e2 now these terms are here you see this one and event e1 is also there so e1 e1 restless things are same and in denominator you need to add them right so p of e2 is half p of a e2 is 5 by 11 now put it here p of e1 was also half p of a e1 it is 3 by 7 plus addition huh plus p of e2 we have already put it half then p of a e2 is 5 by 11 and the remaining things are only calculation okay so if i just go ahead with one or two lines 1 5 the 5 by 2 11 the 22 this will be 3 1 the 3 by 14 plus this is 5 by 22 so you have to get lcm of this and get a required probability okay so this lcm we'll have to find out for this two number and simplify that will be your required probability okay i do one more because if it is not clear i hope it will be clear in the next question Okay, calculation you can do, I believe. Is it okay? Is it okay? Those who are online, can I start the next? It's slightly difficult concept, okay? We need to do, we need to work on this. So, write, I write one more question. Hope it is done. Like simplification, you can do it anyway. Yes or no? So let me do one more. Suppose question number two again on base theorem only. Okay, it's given three identical boxes. Given three identical boxes. Given three identical boxes suppose box one two and three identical means they look same okay there are three boxes each containing two coins each containing 
two coins. So in uh, it is unlike the last question. Now all the bags are having same number of coins, each containing two coins. Getting it? In box one. In box one, first box. Both the coins are gold. Okay, both the coins are gold. Both the coins are gold. Comma. In box two, both the coins are silver. In box two, both the coins are silver. N. In box three, one gold, one silver. Okay, and in box three, one is one coin is gold, and the other one is one coin is gold, and the other one is silver. Okay, and the other one is. Okay, this this is a question. Now, a person chosen a box at random. A person. If you have understood the previous question or uh, have got some idea about that, you can understand this question easily. A person chosen a bag box at random. Any box he has taken at random. And takes out a coin. Any one coin he took out and takes out a coin. Question is, if the coin that taken out is gold, if the coin is now gold, if the coin is gold, question is, what is the probability that it was from? Okay, what the question is slightly different. What is the probability that? What is the probability that the other coin was also? Just a minute. And takes out a coin. If the coin is gold, what is the probability that the other coin? Okay. What is the probability that? The other coin in the box. Other coin in the box. Is also gold only. Okay. All right. Now, uh, if I once again draw the picture and try to make you understand, there are three boxes. Boxes one, box one, two, and three. Right. So, just to make you understand. Okay. So there are three boxes. Box one. Okay. Just to make you understand, it's this is not at all mandatory to draw. Then box three. Done. So box one, box two, and box three. Now in box one, in box one, both the coins are gold. So there are two coins. This is gold. This one is also gold. In box two, both the coins are. Silver. So this is silver. This one is also silver. In this two coins only, but one is a gold, one is a silver. Okay. Now the question is: A person has chosen a box at random. So once again, without looking into the boxes, a, co a, co a coin is taken out, not looking at the box. Okay. So that is what a box is chosen at random, and he took out a coin. So without looking at this, one coin is took out. Okay. Now the question is. The coin which came out to be gold. So the coin came out to be gold. Please try to understand now that second part. I uh, what is the probability that the other coin is in the box is also gold? So when he takes out a gold coin, other coin should also be gold in the box. That means which box they are trying to mean? First coin, first coin which one taken out is a gold. So if the first coin taken out is a gold. Other coin will also be gold. Which bag actually they are trying to mean? Bag one. Because if this coin is taken out, remaining coin will also be gold in this. Uh, not not in the other two. Why not in the other two? 
because if this gold coin is taken out, silver will only be left here to know gold only to take out. So actually they are trying to mean which bag? Bag? Bag one. Yes or no? Now, if the similar uh, process, E1, E2, we took bag one, bag two. Now we will take not E1, E2, we will take E1, E2, E3. E1, E2, E3. I think it is clear. Uh, E1, E2, E3. Why E3? Because there are now three boxes. So E1 means getting the coin from box 1, E2 means box 2, and E3 means box 3. Now P of E1, without going to the solution, what is that? How many boxes are there? How many boxes? 3. E1 means how many box? 1 box out of 3. I think it is clear. P of E2, P of E2. How, uh, how, many bag, uh, how many total bags are there? 3. E2 means, uh, sorry, box. How many, bo E2 means bo which box? Box 2, so only one box. Yes or no? Similarly, P of E3 is also 1 by 3. Because E3 means box 3, there is only one box 3. And total bag boxes are 3, so it is 1 by 3. Done? Okay. Now, now let's go ahead with A. I think now you can say, the way the last time I was taking the red colored ball as the probability see this a the ball is red now what they are asking that the coin is gold so that will your a the coin is gold okay the coin is gold okay i'm just trying to relate this answer with the previous one so that while practicing questions you will also be able to relate the, uh, these solutions now if you observe the previous solution what did you find it? A E1, A E2. Now also we will go A E1, A E2, but A E3 also. So here if I try to go ahead, so P of A E1, this is not, I don't think it will be, you will be finding it difficult now. P of A E2, P of and P of A E3. Okay? P of A E3. Now, what does it mean? You see, A means gold coin. From which bag? Uh, sorry, for from which box? Box 1. So, if you observe here, if you observe here, tell me. Uh, okay. So, gold coin, box 1. How many gold coins are there? And how many total coins are there? That means the probability will be 2 by 2. I repeat. Why? In box 1, as I showed you, as I showed you, there are two coins. And A for gold coins. So, in this, how many gold coins are there? Both. So, this number will be 2 by 2. Try to answer. Bo uh, gold coin in uh, box 2. In box 2, how many coins are there? Two. But, both the coins are what? Silver. Is there any gold coin? No. So, that is why it will be how much? 0 by 2, which means 0. Finally, gold coin back 3 or box 3. In box 3, how many gold coins? 1. But how many coins are there? That is why it will be 1 by 2. Getting it? Now, the last portion, what is your aim? P of. Look at the question now. If the coin is gold, that is the, that is the condition now. So, this is the condition now. And now this condition, uh, the condition to be taken as A, if, so condition, after that slash, what is the probability that the other coin is also, uh, other coin in the box is also gold? So the first coin, if it is gold, remaining coin is also gold. Which, which box? Box 1. That's why they're trying to mean P of box 1, A. This was they're trying to mean. Is it okay? So those are having doubt. Uh, what I was saying uh, 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 that these two, two are given. Your required aim is always this. Now I repeat, P of E one A means box one where the coin is gold. Now if you I I want to write the formula as I show to you. First of all, you have to do P of E one to be multiplied by this one only, but the reverse one. P of P of A E one P of A E one. Okay. Now these things to be repeated in the denominator having plus but for all the three so this one e1 so it will be p of 
See, if it is box 2, we will write E2. Okay, that aim. Now for box 1, so we are writing like this. Now P of E1, same as it is. P of A condition to E1 plus P of E2, all denominator all the three should be written. P of E2 multiplied by P of A condition to E2 plus say P of there are three boxes no? So for all the boxes to be done. E3 multiplied by P of A E3. Okay? Just you put the numbers, you will get all the answers. P of uh, E1, as I showed you, P of E1 was how much? P of E1, E2, E3 all are 1 by 3 only, yes or no? So this is 1 by 3 multiplied by P of A E1. How much? 1. It, it was 1. Now P of E1, so this is the same thing. 1 by 3, P of A1 is 1, plus P of E2, it is 1 by 3, but P of A E2, gold coin in back box 2, there is no gold coin, so it was 0, plus P of E3, 1 by 3, multiplied by P of A E3, A E3 is how much? 1 by 2. So, in numerator, let me complete this calculation, it will be 1 by 3, 1 by 3 into 1 is 1 by 3, and this will be 0 only, this person will be 0 only, yes or no? So then it will be 1 by 1 by 6, 1 1 zero. so it will be like 1 by 3, then if you take LCM here, 6, so it will be 2 plus 1, am I correct? So it will be 1 by 3 by 3, 3 by 6, so it will happen like 1 by 3 multiplied by, it will be reciprocal, yes or no? 6 by 3, 3, 3 will, okay, so the answer is 2 by, this is how this question is to be completed. Is it okay? Done. So it was the last topic of probability, please focus on some questions, I'll, I I, I I suggest you, okay, for probability this particular uh, topic, this module, you can, uh, you can refer to uh, CBSC class 12 uh, textbooks, the probability chapter. Okay, the nicely explained, and you can even understand the questions yourself. Okay, okay, then thank you, thank you.